Welcome back everyone. Well there you have it, the Lakers are the first ever NBA in season tournament champions, and you already know the NBA world will find a way to discredit them. Whether it be the team they played against, the refs, or whatever it might be, you already know that it's coming. But in reality, they are simply the best team throughout this tournament, and it really showed how good they can truly become. Now we might not always get this version of their team, but when we do it's a real treat. They are elite defensively, and are one of, if not the best team in the entire league at getting to the rim. I mean, there are not many teams that can limit the Indiana Pacers, let alone Tyrese Halliburton on offense. I'm not kidding when I say they are currently the best offense in NBA history, having a 123.5 rating throughout their first 20 games. However, they had yet to play against an elite defense like the Lakers, and the guy leading them tonight was without a doubt Anthony Davis. I don't know what got into the guy, but he was by far the best player on the court tonight, putting up 41 points, 20 rebounds, 5 assists, and 4 blocked shots. I don't care who you're talking about, there are very few players who can put up a stat line like that one, and especially in a game like this one. Call it a favorable matchup if you want to, but I don't think anybody can stop him when he's playing like he did tonight. And while many tend to only give him credit when he puts up 25 or more points, the real value comes from his defense, and he once again proved to be an elite defensive anchor. Not only him though, but Cam Reddish and Jared Vanderbilt, and really their entire team played a part in that as well. Again, you won't find many teams who can hold the Pacers to under 110 points, nearly 20 points under their season average. And between Anthony Davis, Cam Reddish, and Jared Vanderbilt off the bench, they made life hell on the Indiana Pacers. And Tyrese Halliburton found that out firsthand, holding a guy that had been putting up 28 and 14 during the tournament to only 20 and 11 tonight. And despite Indiana being number one in pace in the entire league, they were not able to play that way tonight. And if anything, the Lakers looked like the ones who were controlling the pace out there tonight. No matter how hard they tried, Tyrese Halliburton and the Pacers could not find a way to speed up this game. I mean, sure, they did get a few fast break opportunities here and there, but they continually struggled in the half court setting which again, came from the Lakers absolutely elite defense. But even if you're not willing to admit that, I guarantee that no other team could win a game like this one by only making two three-point shots. And no, I'm not joking about that either. They made only two three-point shots all game long, with their first one coming during the final minute of the third quarter. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that is a clear indication of their ability to not only get to the rim, but outright control the game out there too and that comes from their ability to get stops on defense, and then find quality shots near the rim on offense. In my opinion, they really showed how great of a team they can be out there tonight. It might not have been a 40 point blowout like their last game, but they were quite obviously the better team out there. And when they're playing like the way they did on defense, getting an individual game like that one from Anthony Davis, along with great production from guys like LeBron, Austin Reeves who had 22 points during the first half by the way, and all around great two way production from their role players, that is when they can be a truly elite team. With all of that being said though, let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments down below, and we'll finish it up by hearing from the Lakers about becoming the first ever NBA in season tournament champions and getting $500,000 richer by the way too. Uh, after spending uh, three days here in Vegas, you got a sense for um, the kind of fan support in the city. I was kind of curious about your observations now of Las Vegas as an NBA city. Has not changed. Um, uh, my enthusiasm about being here uh, post-career, um, bringing a team here um, has not changed. Um, the fans are, are amazing here. Like I said, they have everything here already. WNBA team, um, have a baseball team coming in soon, NFL team, hockey team. F1 was just here over the uh, Thanksgiving uh, uh, week. Um, listen, everything is here. I mean, it's a, it's a place that um, love, uh, you know, great attractions. And I think the NBA will um, be another great addition to the city. Um, obviously, we see the success with Summer League and things of that nature and, and the Aces as well. So. Um, you know, it'll be fun. Mike, standing here on the right. Yeah, AD, on, on the court, LeBron said that, you know, he led the way in the semifinal. Uh, you kind of took things over tonight. Uh, just all the times that you played together, winning the title, uh, the other big games in the playoffs, uh, how did you guys uh, kind of come together and do it again in this, in this context? Uh, we've been doing it together for a long time. Uh, five years now, uh, and we just figured it out. Um, we know each other's tendencies, what we like to do. 
And obviously, crunch time, you know, we get to our, <clears throat> you know, infamous pick and roll <coughs> where it's tough to stop. Yeah. But, um, you know, we feed off one another. We say uh, Thursday, Brian had it going. Um, and tonight, you know, it was me, and he still did his thing. So, uh, but it just wasn't us two. Um, obviously, the whole team, Austin, you know, D'Lo, you know, everybody contributed tonight. Cam uh, with his defense, TP. So, um, it was a great team win tonight. Dan here on the right. Guys, the, the two you guys celebrated a, a title together feels like forever ago in, in Florida. Um, but, but what did this experience w with this group tell you about, about those prospects moving forwards? And, and did the, the kind of the intensity of these games show you that this could be a group that, that has a, a real shot at doing it again in May and June? I mean, I think we're just thinking too far down the road. Um, you know, we still want to put it in perspective that it's still December. Um, but we like where we are right now. Um, but we want to continue to just continue to work our habits, um, you know, continue to get healthy as well, you know. Um, um, you know, but I think right now where we are in December, um, I, I, I would take it, you know, I would take it. But um, i definitely not looking to, I'm not looking to, to, to May and June. That's too far. There's too many steps that needs to be taken still in order for our team to be who we want to be once the postseason starts. So, um, but... Um, you know, as of today, you know, I like the way we played in this um, in the semifinals on Thursday and then tonight. Our defense intensity in order for us to, to win and win at the highest level, we have to defend. And we've been doing that over the last few weeks. Vinny, back. Vince Goodwill, Yahoo Sports. AD, the stats won't count tonight for towards the regular season, but the way that you were the catalyst for the defense, what does it mean for you to do that in a game that matters? Um. <clears throat> Obviously, it means a lot because it helped the team win. But anytime I step on the floor, uh, you know, I'm, I know I'm the anchor of the defense. You know, uh, giving guys the freedom to press up and get some ball pressure. And if they if they get beat, I'm there <clears throat> at the rim to to uh, alter the shot or block it. Um, but that's my job. You know, I'm, I'm constantly talking. You know, with the guys, especially you know, me and Brown have great um, <clears throat> chemistry as far as you know our defensive schemes and what we like to do uh, as the four and the five. But uh, overall. I think, uh, you know, we've been locked in defensively. Um, you know, it, obviously, it helps getting Vando back and, and Cam, uh, Rui, um, to be able to do a lot of more things defensively. But uh, it's my job to be the anchor and, and, and lead, the, lead the team on the defensive end. Dave? LeBron, you've now played five seasons and counting with AD. That's more than you played with Dwayne and Chris Bosh in Miami. That's more than you played with Kyrie and Kevin in Cleveland. What has he meant to your career? Um, I mean, everything. I mean, especially at the later stages of my career, you know, to be able to get, you know, uh, a young, hungry, you know, you know, alpha male to go out there and just do the things that he do. Um, it's definitely, you know, given me um, an opportunity to be able to not only watch as he's continued to grow, um, but also be able to try to inspire him as well, you know, as he continued to grow in his career and, and vice versa. So, you know, I feel like you know, when we're on the floor together, we're healthy. Um, we know what we're capable of doing. We just played too many games together. We've shared too many moments together, um, played in too many big moments together to fail each other. So, um, you know, it's been it's been everything. You know, like I said, especially at the later stage of my career. LeBron and Anthony, it seems like I ask you guys this question often, but what does it mean to have Austin Reeves play at this level? It means a lot. Um, <clears throat> I mean, what he did tonight. Uh, not just tonight, but what he's been doing this entire season has been unbelievable. Um, he actually takes a lot of pressure off us, too. Uh, you know, we draw so much attention, and he's able to go one-on-one -on -one or, uh, you know, play make for, for himself or for the other guys. So he's meant a lot to our organization, to our team. Um, he's I – mean, there's nothing that he can't do on the offensive end, and, you know, he he's locking in defensively. So, um, you know, he means a lot to our ball club, and – you know, it, it just shows every time he steps on the floor. Kobe here on the right. AD to your right. There's a lot said about you and your offensive performances, you know, throughout the road season. Just to have this kind of performance, 40 and 20 on this stage, what does that mean to you or does it mean for you? I mean, it don't really mean much. I mean, uh, I just try to do everything I can to, to win a basketball game. Obviously, my teammates put me in a, <coughs> excuse me, in a great position to be successful. Um, but... You know, our obviously this is, you know, special for us. You know, just you know, winning the inaugural uh, in-season tournament. But uh, you know, we want to 
when it also won the same thing in June. So um, it's a step in the right direction, obviously. But uh, even though, you know, it's a big performance, uh, it's another game, and we got to continue, continue it going, you know, starting back on Tuesday.